Tonight on Hunter. But you know what's out there? A pathological killer. You want a menu or you want to just choose from the buffet? All right, that's it. Hollow point. All four women killed with a nine millimeter round. Nine millimeter as in police issue? How are you? You look good. What are you doing here? I was just in the area kicking around. A couple of girls saw Dina being pulled out of the hotel by a uniformed cop. Freeze right there, Ted. Police! Ready to go, honey? I said, are we ready to go? Yeah, well, uh, I, uh, I guess so. Well, you, uh, you want a menu or you just want to choose from the buffet? Maybe a, a glass of water? <laughs> honey, I don't serve water. Look, could we maybe just slow down a little bit? This is about as slow as it's gonna get. All right, that's it. You, over there. What did I do? Face against the wall and don't move. Well, do you mind if I get dressed? Do it. You're lucky. Tonight you get a pass. I'll beat it. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't see any money change hands, you know. But I know that for a fact. Head up to the court, honey. You're under arrest for 647B. You got nothing to bust me on. Oh, you're going to tell me two consenting adults can't do it? Hey, hey. How about I give you a discount? We talk about your mother. Let's go. Easy. <laughs> Pero más alto en el aire. Ana 
no puede parar de pegar la pelota en el suelo. Pégale en el aire, pégale más alto, a ver si puedes pegarle arriba de mi cabeza. ¡Eh, hey, ándale! ¿Qué te crees que es? ¿José Conseco? and waving your arms at me. Hi. What, are you asleep? That's Debbie Small. Do you remember Debbie from Pierce High? Of course. Hunter, homicide. How are you? You look good. What are you doing here? I was just in the area kicking around. I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Well, I'm glad you did, but I mean, what are you doing here in California? I thought you were down in Florida with your mom. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Um, well, I'm just out here for a couple of weeks, seeing some friends. Uh, we just got a 187 downtown. Oh, all right, I'll join you. I'll take you. Are you, you sure? Yeah, you go ahead and chat. Uh, will you buzz me if you need me? Right, well, um, the worst cup of coffee I know about is right next door, you game. Let's do it. Okay, you can let the kids go. Keep sweeping the area. Let me know if anything turns up. Donna! How you doing, hon? Hi, Hunter. I got here as soon as I could. Yeah, thanks. What have you got? Well, you tell me. Oh, my God, it's Dana Coolidge. What can you tell me about this person? Well, last night, a couple of girls working the same block saw Dina being pulled out of the hotel by a uniformed cop. Uniformed cop? One officer? That's what they said. Doesn't sound right. I need you to set up that meeting with those girls as soon as you can, huh? Poor Dana. She's been up to the center a couple of times. Pep beat her up. John shook her down. We talked, patch her up. She'd go right back to the street again. God, Hunter, this is four in the last two months, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Same MO, large caliber bullet, close range, handcuffs. Very sorry about her. Place. It has like five bedrooms, this pool, this huge garage with all these old cars in it. Dave's really into old cars. Dave, who's, who's Dave? My step. Dad. Ever since my mom remarried, like since when I was eight, I've been calling him Dave, so. Wasn't he the guy you didn't get along too well? I thought you said he didn't like you too much. Yeah, I guess. Well, his law firm's doing better, so he's not always pitching and moaning like he did before I moved out here. Good. You know, it sounds a lot better, Debbie. Yeah, I guess. I still miss my friends, my dad. I took flowers to the grave today. That's nice. You know, it seems to me like you've got a lot of good things to look forward to for yourself. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? I don't know. My mom wants me to go to college, but I'd like to take a year just to get my head together. I don't think that's such a bad idea. 
think maybe you, you might want to stay out here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe get a job and try to survive for a while. Yeah, it can be a little rough being 18 all on your own. Well, it's rougher living in the condo in Fort Lauderdale with two elderly people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I see your point. Yeah? Not as rough as this coffee. <laughs> I don't think we'd better drink any more of this. <laughs> Looks like it's in one piece. You want to hand me that evidence bag? Nine millimeter, uh, hollow point. Want me to clean it? No, ballistics will do that. Thank you. No problem. Ah. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. We're on the way down to ballistics. I'll fill you in on the way down. Carl? You missed a great craniotomy. What a shame. Here's a match if I ever saw it. There. Take a look at that. All four women killed with a nine millimeter round. Mm. Nine millimeter as in police issue? Perhaps. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> Thanks. I'll get in touch with the watch commander, get a list of all the officers that were in the area where the victims were found. Right. I'll try and get a hold of Dean's job. Let me know. Yeah. Side, McCall. Yes, I have a long distance call for you from Florida. Go ahead, please. Oh, hello, Sergeant McCall. This is Judy Miller, Debbie's mother. Do you remember me? We spoke at Jack's funeral. Yes. Uh, hi, Mrs. Miller. How are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry to bother you, but, uh, well, I know that you and Debbie developed a pretty good relationship when her father was killed. Uh, yeah, you know, I saw her just today. You did? Well, she seemed to be fine and looking forward to the future and everything. Well, you sound worried. Well, I am. Since she left the house, we've heard less and less from her. I know she's 18, and I can't legally make her come home, but I wish she would. Mrs. Miller, I was uh, under the impression that Debbie had your blessings when she came out here. Well, she didn't exactly leave on good terms. <laughs> she had a blow-up with her stepdad. Oh. Yeah, she said that they'd had a rocky past, but uh, I thought that they were getting along better. Well, I just want to talk to her to see if she's okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I will uh, call her. I got her number sitting around here somewhere, and I'll give her the message. How's that? Thank you. I'm really very sorry to bother you. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm glad you called. Bye-bye. ever uh, work for a sketch artist? Oh, yeah. This guy down in Venice painted me <laughs> for some kind of tool and die calendar. Oh, wow, the sketch artist was a bit like that. <laughs> now, look, I want you to take a look at these police officers. If any one of these looks familiar, might be the guy that came out of the hotel that night, I want you to flag it with one of these, OK? And I want to thank you for bringing them down. Hey. I want this creep off the street as much as I want them off the street. Donna, 
Take a look at this stud muffin. <laughs> What's up? I uh, cross-checked the last places the four victims were seen alive against where their bodies were found. There's a total of 39 uniformed officers that were either in one place or the other. Now, were any of the officers linked by a common location? Yeah, there were three of them. There was Officer uh, Bill Park Central, Jim Scott Central, and John Washington Rampart. That picture's coming. What about ballistics? Ballistics is doing a test firing. There's no results yet. Okay. I'll take the girls down to see the sketch artist. Uh, you expecting anybody? No. Oh, but I'm glad she's here. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Well, <clears throat> we'd all like to know if Officer McKnight is single. Nothing. Let's go see the sketch artist. <laughs> Sergeant Hunter. Who's that girl over there? She's a friend of Sergeant McCall's wife. I don't know. She looked familiar. Come on. I think I'm starting to like the coffee here. Oh, big mistake. Pretty soon you'll be wanting to order the tuna milk. Bad. Oh, yeah, they don't use tuna. I'm sorry, Mr. Message, last night. I got in late. Trashed. So what's up? Your mother called me. My mother? Can't believe it. She sounded kind of concerned about you. I know, that's what mothers are supposed to do. She wants me to come home, and I want to make it on my own. It's your stepfather wants you to come home, too. Look, I don't see why we have to talk about my family life. Well, we don't have to, it's just that Look, your mom called. She sounded kind of upset. It's not such a big deal. Why don't you just pick up the phone and call them and let them know you're all right? So I'd, I'd just rather order the tuna melt. <laughs> no, <laughs> believe me, you wouldn't. Call them, all right? Ballistics cleared the three officers. If they were out shooting hookers, they were not using departmental issues. Charlie, from the description the girls gave us, our shooter isn't black. All right. So that leaves Washington and any one of 3,500 other officers who might have been out taking target practice in their spare time. Look, Charlie, it's not a cop, it's an imposter. All right, I'm with you on this. I'm in your camp, but I cannot leave one stone unturned. All right? I want you to get that sketch to every divisional captain. I want to make sure we don't have a witch hunt here. Devane. Yep. OK. Someone to see you. Says he's got some information about the hooker shootings. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Just the way she was described in the papers. L look, I got a couple of kids, you know. My wife doesn't know about me, about any of this. Look, Earl, how you decide what you do with your family is your business, okay? I understand. Let's talk about the guy who came in the room that night. The policeman? Yes. All right. Take a look at him. No. Does this guy fit? Uh-uh. About him. I'm sorry. Think of that. Yeah. This guy's a lot closer. Good. You and I go down and see the sketch artist. Huh? One out of nine. Roger, you're post seven. 13A43. Roger, you're post four. Six five one east twelve. Cheesy, this guy's playing for keeps. Forget about your driver. There's a killer out there. Forget about him. <laughs> Look, Don, I know you want me off the streets waiting tables, but my man don't. And he's got powerful ways of making his point. You can stay at the center. It's secure. We can help you. 
Yeah, they got hot and cold running water, too. <laughs> Kelly, what are you doing? Stretching my legs. Don't worry, I'm not cruising. Where'd you get this? I'm helping the police distribute as many as I can. Cheese, does your pimp know there's a killer walking the streets? All he knows is that there's paying customers out there, and he wants me bringing him cash. All right. I want to talk to him. Honey, you're going to have to take your social work somewhere else. What do you want? Oh, I don't know. Weren't you at the cop shop this morning? No, I don't know what you're talking about. You're friends with what's-his-name's partner. I don't have any friends. Yeah? <laughs> well, a quail like you ain't gonna last very long on the streets without one. Who was that? I don't know. I thought she was carrying a badge. What makes you think she isn't? <laughs> Cops rehearse their parts. She didn't even know what I was talking about. Run away? I don't know. That's that detective we, we were talking to today. Hunter? Yeah, he told me that that chick was supposed to be his partner's friend. I don't... Get off the streets. Okay, Kelly. Oh, I am just trying to find architectural digest. No, thanks. I don't think it ID, officer? Get the hell out of here. Come on, honey. Let's go. After the shot, the girl comes running out screaming. So I grab her. I didn't know whether she was wounded or stoned or just scared, you know? Did you see the guy who fired the shot? Well, the girl said it was some cop. I know, but did you see him? Oh, man, he didn't come out this way. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't going running after him, you know? OK. Stick around. I may want to talk to you a little bit later on, OK? Yeah, you got it. Thanks. Appreciate it. What we got? Victim was Donna Carlisle. What? What happened? The intended victim is inside the manager's office. I, uh, I think you should go talk to her.
know, you lied to your mom, your stepdad, you lied to me. You know, I thought that we were friends, Debbie. We are. We are? I always thought friends were supposed to be completely honest with each other. Look, whether you like it or not, you're unfortunately involved in a homicide now. It's somebody that we knew and we worked with out on the streets. God, I can't believe you're a prostitute. You've got to be really proud of the way you're making it on your own. No. I needed the money. I don't do this all the time. What the hell does that mean? Is that supposed to make it okay? Hey, look, I am not pulling a whole lot of heartstrings for you right now. Please. You don't understand. Look. Take you downtown, print you, photo you just like any girl we'd pick up off the streets. Get your statement on the shooting, put you on a plane back to Florida, and you can tell anybody anything you want. Get your stuff together. There'll be somebody down here in a minute to take you downtown. Well, it's pretty faint, but the seronacrylate has developed something we might be able to use. We're lucky we got to this one as soon as we did. I think two is as many as we're going to get. Yeah, I think you're right. OK. I'll take them down to the computer, run them through, and see what turns up. What's the deal? Well, all we got were a couple of prints. Well, I'll run them down for you. That's all right. I'll do it. No, that's OK. You have. Uh... Very scared young lady at Out Division wants to talk to you. I'll run him. Thanks. Wanted to talk? I don't want to go home. Look, I could just get up and walk right out of here if I wanted to. Yeah, I didn't press any charges, if that's what you mean. But you know what's out there? A pathological killer that knows that you can identify him. You want to take that chance? But what am I supposed to do? It's been kind of rough these past couple months, you know. You know, Debbie, it's really hard for me to understand that you thought the prostitution was going to help you out of a rough time. Come on, I thought you were smarter than that. I want to talk to you. Why? Did you lie to me again? You know, I went out on a limb for you because I thought you were worth it. I'm sorry. Look, here's a quarter. Why don't you go call your mom and tell her you're coming home? Phone out by the elevators.
Homicide McCall. Kent, Roy Joseph, 2345 Royal Canyon Road, Los Angeles, California. He comes on the computer as a 647B. He was the John in the bust. Prostitution, huh? Got a good match? I got a real good match. I'm on my way out there right now. Listen, put his license plate up on the wire. Two, Paul, Mary, Ocean, 163. It should be a 1984 tan Impala, four-door sedan. OK, I got it. I'll get it right out. Listen, keep Debbie around for a little while. We may have ourselves a little lineup for her to look at. OK, will do. Do around the back. At the back, it's a go. Okay, we all go on three. Got it? On three. One, two, three. <laughs> That's a regular police junkie. is empty, no one's been here, his bed hasn't been slept in. But we do have ourselves a pretty interesting collection of evidence. You gotta see this place, it's a complete shrine. All right, look, Debbie walked out of here maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. I've got a broadcast out on her and Kent's and Paula. I'll be in the office about a half hour, see you then, bye. Royal Canyon Road. 
84 Impala, 2 Paul, Ferry Ocean, 163, not at Suspect's house. Look, I won't see anything. Shut up. If located, apprehend and notify 1 William 156. They've been to my house. Damn it, they've been to my house. They can't do that. Stay. What are you doing? Shut the hell up. Six four seven B prostitution. You pay. Two eight eight A. You pay. Seven eighty five. You pay. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Do that. Don't hurt me, please. I won't tell. I won't say anything. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Where are we going? at Hope and Grand. Okay, listen, if you hear anything from Debbie, anything at all, you call me, let me know, okay? Don't you worry, you'll be the first to know. Stand by, 1L10, detectives en route. Yes, sir. I'll be right in it. I just have a couple of things to clear up. Yeah, I know. Well, we can get the city to get a few more men. Yeah. Yes, sir. We could all use a vacation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Impala's behind the old Division 19 building. We gave it a quick drive-by. We found this on the seat. Damn, he's got Debbie Small. Has there been any movement? We got a man staked on each side. Nobody came and nobody went. Okay. Hold your positions. Call Central and tell them we've got a possible hostage situation. This guy doesn't keep people alive very long. We're going in. This is one Adam 10 to all units. Stay in position. Officers entering building. All right. I've got other things to do. Let's get this over with. Please just let me go. I'm booking you, and printing you, and putting you in a hole downstairs. Respect the badge, lady, and you and me won't have any problems. Hey, Spence, how you doing? It's good to see you back. Hey, you take care of that arm. Hope you get back real soon. Please 
Please just let me go. I won't tell anyone. Lady, you don't get out of here unless a cop says it's all right. Please, I'll do anything you want. Freeze, Kent, please. What's the matter with you people? Well, do something! Gonna leave here. I didn't tell, I promise. You don't have to worry, honey. It's all over now. I don't want him to hurt me. I just don't want him to hurt me. Who's gonna hurt you? I won't tell him. No one's gonna no, hurt I you, Dad. No, I can't go home. I don't want him to hurt me. Who's gonna hurt you, sweetheart? My stepfather hurt me, but I won't tell. How'd it go? Pretty intense. My stepfather broke down. My mom shook a lot. I just kind of talked. You think you might want to go back with them? I don't know. They have a few more sessions scheduled out here. I guess I got to do those. Oh, yeah, I think it's a good idea to get it all out, you know? That's what all the shrinks say. Have you thought about pressing charges? I don't know. It all happened when I was a kid, you know. It's very deep. Well, if you want to talk, I'm here. Thanks. I just wish I could have talked about 10 or 12 years ago. Yeah, I understand. We'll see you later, okay? 